Welcome to the show, everybody. We are now starting to settle into what the next four years might look like legislatively and from a policy perspective. And one of the things that we're quickly learning is that if you thought the last Republican win came at a cost, the consequences of this one, Trump winning the presidency, Republicans winning in the Senate, Republicans winning in the House, albeit by the tiniest of margins, the consequences of this one are going to hit harder and faster and with no apology or hesitation whatsoever. Let me tell you what's uh, on my mind as far as this goes. Millions of Americans who voted for this outcome are about to feel the sting of what they just endorsed. And I'm going to break this down for you in four or five primary areas. Healthcare number one. Republicans have made it clear over the last few days they are sharpening their knives for Medicaid, Medicare, any program that doesn't directly funnel cash to their donors. And Trump has now said in that recent interview we looked at that he would love to get rid of Obamacare as well, since it is red states that disproportionately don't have their own health care exchanges, unlike states like California, New York and Massachusetts. If Trump gets his way, it'll be disproportionately Republicans in red states who suffer the consequences. Forget about the campaign promises of protecting benefits. That was bait. They're already eyeing cuts, which will leave millions scrambling to pay medical bills or potentially going without care altogether. And of course, that includes rural voters who leaned right into this red thinking that uh, 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 their Medicare is going to be untouchable. It's not untouchable. And we even now have reporting that Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy, a couple of unelected bureaucrats, are looking at cutting not only Medicare, but also Social Security, although we'll talk about that in a little bit. We go from health care to the economy. Remember how Trump's tax cuts gave corporations these huge windfalls and workers got breadcrumbs, if anything at all. This new Republican majority has the sequel in mind, which is more tax cuts for the ultra wealthy, more loopholes for the big guys and a ballooning deficit, just like we saw during Donald Trump's first term, which they always conveniently forget about until it's time to cut social programs. Watch how they'll frame this as making tough choices for the betterment of the economy. Well, the betterment of the economy, not so much. The benefit of giga millionaires and billionaires while regular people get screwed, including the people who voted for it. Yes, Trump's cluelessness is going to hurt his own voters the most because the blue state voters on average have more protections thanks to blue state social programs. The manufacturing towns in the red states, people hoping for jobs, not going to happen. The farmers who trusted Trump's trade policies, not going to help them wait until wait, wait till the devastating retaliatory tariffs start to hit. So the MAGA diehards who thought he was going to come to their rescue and now they're going to sit by and watch as potentially Medicare cuts are on the table. Trump's not draining the swamp. He's flooding it with incompetence and grift on social issues. Forget about progress. Republicans are going to double down on the banning of books, policing classrooms, stripping away basic rights, all under the guise of giving parents choice and freedom and all of this nonsense. And the Supreme Court has already figured out that they're going to help. So brace yourself for more of this culture war nonsense. It divides communities. It distracts from the economic pain that they are also causing. Abortion, trans issues. We've seen the country move left and left and left on these issues. But Trump's continuing to go at it. He has the help of the red state governors. He has the help of the Supreme Court. Now, Trump's confusion or his complete and total lack of understanding about how anything works is a major contributing factor here. If it's tariffs or if it's foreign policy or it's inflation, he has no idea what's going on. He's playing. It's like playing with matches in a room full of gas cans and just saying, I, I don't know, why can't I just drop the matches? Well, there's a reason why the guy thinks that tariffs are a tax that other countries pay. 
when it's actually a tax paid here in the United States. And meanwhile, it's American consumers and businesses that foot the bill. Trump's concern is whether he looks good. If it hurts you, if it hurts his voters, collateral damage in what is ultimately a PR game. It's important to remember that this did not have to happen. Millions of Americans who stayed home or believe the Republican Party's lies about Democrats being too extreme handed them the victory. The same voters will wake up in a year or two wondering why their paychecks don't stretch far enough. Trump was going to bring egg prices back down to a dollar and gas was going to be a dollar. They'll wake up and be wondering why are our schools not even able to afford pencils? Well, part of it is the wrestling lady running DOE. Why are their health care costs through the roof? Because Trump never really had a plan that was two weeks away. So what do we do? And we're going to lay this out in pieces later on in the show. We don't shut up. We don't go away. We don't let their non-existent mandate that they believe they have go unchecked. If Republicans believe they've won a blank check to gut the country, they're in for a rude awakening. Now, they may succeed in a bunch of the red states, but we're going to try to fight. It's a very slim House majority, maybe just a single seat. They can be stopped cold with one or two dissenters. We are talking obstruction at every turn. No matter how Republicans spin their win, most voters voted for someone other than Trump. There's no landslide and there's no mandate. They got a tiny edge. The pendulum swings back and forth. We can't let them use it to dismantle the progress that has been made. The House is where budgets start, and that's why it's so critical. It's where oversight either happens or doesn't happen. So if the Republican Party wants to play politics with people's lives, the goal has to be to make sure that they get nothing done. Now you might be saying, oh, but David, isn't that the worst of obstructionist politics? When they are trying to do things that will damage the country and hurt people, even if they are Trump voters, I would still rather stop it. I don't want people to be hurt. Gridlock is better than them achieving terrible things. So the goal is not just survival. It's laying the groundwork to flip this mess in two years. I hope that Democrats don't let up for a second. It seems that there are people ready for a fight. You know, I used to be critical of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I would say that I didn't think that her political instincts were yet well developed, that she was naive in some ways. I think she's fixed a lot of that stuff and she seems ready for the fight. Now, unfortunately, some of the self-described progressive left says AOC has sold out and left everybody behind. I think AOC has become far more tactical and shrewd. And that's exactly what you need when fighting these people. Now, if you want to go to a specific example of what they have up their sleeves, this one is vomitous. I'm warning you. Let's talk about it. Sometimes the people we are closest to are the toughest to shop for. Luckily, there's a gift everyone on your list will love. It is the Aura digital picture frame. I gave one to my mom, preloaded it with pictures of the baby and some of me. Right. I mean, please, you hook it up and it's already got pictures on it. You can select pictures from your phone and upload them remotely to any picture frame named number one by wire cutter Aura frames make it really easy to share an unlimited number of photos and videos from your phone to the frame. When you give it as a gift, you can personalize it, preload it with a message and photos using the Aura app. I don't live near my parents, so the fact that I could preload these pictures onto the frame just makes it a really great long distance gift as well. Aura frames is a gift so special they'll use it every day. Save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com to get $35 off Aura's best selling Carver mat frames by using the promo code Pacman at checkout. The link is in the description.